one second. Okay. What's up everybody, TCG Mike here. Today I am at Elma Gaming here in Greenville, of South Carolina. And today I've just met a new player named Michael. He is uh, running Blue Eyes by Dragon. And I just played a couple matches with him for Phantom Knights against Blue Eyes. And it was pretty awesome. So here to check out the deck build and uh, Michael. Welcome to uh, well, welcome to my cha channel here on TCG Mike. Hey, thanks, Mike. So uh, tell us about your uh, uh, deck profile here of your Blue Eyes. All right, so I've been playing Blue Eyes, for, well, the Blue Eyes by Dragon in general for the past twenty years now. So uh, uh, it's like everybody's favorite character, Kylo's well, mine too. I mean, <laughs> so, I, I go for the dragon, not for the character. All right. <laughs> if any uh, if any character I would go is for you, say. Okay, I think I can say I can say the same thing that my favorite's always been Blue Eyes. Since I, yeah. well, I have new favorites nowadays of current gaming, but back at, yeah, I, I I understand that. So yeah, so now I did play now I did play you say the uh, signature synchro, but it evolved to it eventually evolved into the one that's in the manga. Gotcha. Anyway, so let's get started here. So the first off, the main guy is the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Yes. Now. Obviously, he's the he's the main card of the deck, my ace card, and obviously he's I, again I I had a bond with this guy ever since I started played the game. Right. I, I gotta say, like I see you ch chose the uh, artwork of the movie cards. Yes. I've always played just the original structure, <laughs> the original kind of structure deck ones. Yes. Now for the uh, main, now for this uh, extender would be alternative white dragon. Unfortunately, I'm only playing one, which thanks to mill, thanks to a certain searcher card, he's easy to bring out as well as a, a good recyclable card. Yeah. So next one would be also jet dragon. Now the jet dragon, he is the he's by far the best thing that came out of this set because all the cards cannot be destroyed by card effects as well as. If he is ever, if a card would be destroyed with that over card effects, he's brought out from hand or graveyard. And finally, if he's ever attacked, he gets to advance one card on the field back to the hand. And now, also another extender, which I want to play one of, it would be Abyss Dragon. That was Abyss Dragon. If I ever, ever summon out while a Blue Eyes White Dragon is on the field or graveyard, I get two searches out. One would be I get to add a polymerization or a ritual spell from my deck to my hand, and I can also sit. I can also add a level eight or higher dragon from my deck to my hand. Oh, okay, so it also gives you like chaos form too. As exactly. Well, like you're it can either be Max. like it either be deep eyes, chaos, Fulk, chaos dragon, or chaos max. Like even the chaos emperor dragon. Oh, okay. I got you. And finally, and finally, if I if he's in the graveyard and Blue Eyes White Dragon is on the field of graveyard, I can banish him. All my, all my dragons will gain a thousand attack points. Right. So that's all the uh, main boss main bosses for the main deck. For the searchers as well as the spellcasters would be Sage with eyes of blue. Yes, Sage. He's like the uh, main uh, searcher there. Yes, he's the main searcher as well as the main summoner as well summoner, because. Yeah. <laughs> Because you search out any level one light like, tuna monster from deck to hand, as well as you pretty much ditch him for any other monster on the field, and he pretty much summons out any blue eyes from your deck. Nice. All right. And next, we also have Dictator. Dictator. Now, this is the best combo I've had since I brought Dictator out. Was that you summon out Sage, you get Dictator out, and then pretty much by pitching a blue eyes for a dragon from the hand or deck to graveyard. Yep. And thanks to Sage, you pretty much sense, add like a uh, a white stone of legend from like a white stone of legend, and then you pretty much uh, send blue, the white stone from your hand or from your hand to graveyard to summon out a blue eyes as well as search a blue eyes. Yes. And also, while he's on the field, and a blue eyes white dragon is on the field, well, any blue eyes is on the field. He chooses your attack target, since hence the name Dictator. Oh, okay, I got you. <laughs> That's very good. I actually figured that out later. <laughs> now, I see that now, as far as the uh, eggs, will be two ancients, two ancients, all right, and two legends. Ooh, two legends, all right. Two and two. Yes. Now, I actually saw this uh, back in the video. Would say that at first it will be three. Now it's at two. I'm starting to see the reason why, because. He also summons out a blue eyes from deck from your deck, yes, as which, well which as be the end of the turn. Yes, but also you pretty much uh, banish him to bring out to bring back a blue eyes from your graveyard. Yep, which you can bring back a blue eyes and use him to uh, bring out. Um, 
uh, alternative, alternative dragons yes. in that or, type of situation too as well. Or, or it could be alternative white dragon either way. Right. So you got the stones right there. Now this guy is a very uh, interesting idea. Was Chronicle Magician. Chronicle Magician, yeah. I don't see this card too often. Yeah, so I've, I've, I've seen it before. Yeah, so what he does is that if a blue, if a blue eyes or dark magician were ever summoned, he summons out from your hand. And when that happens, he, he pretty much gives his attack points to that Dark Magician or Blue Eyes. You know, uh, j j just for a uh, side, uh, side topic, uh, I didn't realize it was also looked like a Dark Magician in Magician form and a w wearing white like Blue Eyes. So. Yes. <laughs> I just realized that just yeah. while looking at now, it. Now, the best thing about this guy is that I easily use him along with another Tuner Monster for my level eight synchro plays now okay so either i either pretty much pull out a prison blader if i wanted to which i probably think i should get it right now <laughs> so here's a good one all right and then for the for, to finish up the monster lineup would be effect failure right. obviously for the sage with eyes of blue to search them out to pretty much stop other people from doing whatever they want yep and i, think, and I know we just talked about it that uh um uh uh, Sage, Sage can uh, uh, deck search for effect mailer too. Yes, which is also good. Now, for my spell cards, the first thing it would be the fusions would be polymerization, obviously self-explanatory. Yeah, so and then the newest card, ultimate fusion. Now, this thing is a quick play, which means you can also play during your opponent's turn as well. Yeah, I know. We just uh, you just demonstrated that against me and uh, won the game off of it. Well, actually, I played during my main phase. Well, we yeah, tried chaining. Yeah, we tried <laughs> chaining and stuff with fog blading. Now, with this card here, was in, is also interesting is that not only can you pretty much recycle all your blue eyes from your hand, field, or graveyard to fusion summon, but also for any blue eyes monster that you pretty much fusion summon that was on the field, you get to pop a card as well. Hmm. So not only can this uh, like fusion summon like your ultimate dragons, but also summon out tyrant dragon. Yep. Now that's for the fusions. Now for my searcher. I do remember you doing that. Would be Melody of Awakening Dragon. Now yes. obviously, thanks to ultimate fusion and Melody, it pretty much you pretty much recycle all your stuff and pretty much keep pr practicing a Melody. Ah. And then you also have, I just bring out, would be trading, obviously, for your level eights. Yes. And then That's the uh, newest pot, card. The pot of greed of the deck. Yeah. <laughs> now for the other draw card, which is also a honest card, would be Piercing the Darkness. Piercing the Darkness. Yes. Now, like I said, this is also pretty much when you summon a normal monster, you draw a card. Yes. And also... If a blue eyes, if you pretty much have a normal monster attacking or any card that was fusion summon, synchro summon, or Z summon, or heck, even probably even link summon, ritual summon, whatever, with that normal monster, he that monster also gains the, pretty much the honest effect to pretty much uh, gain the attack points of the monster it's attacking. Hmm. So, like, say if I were to use a uh, tyrant dragon as a fusion material, as a Summon out Tyrant Dragon, then Tyrant Dragon pretty much gain all that attack points on one monster and keep on attacking. Oh, okay, yeah, because yeah, because it can attack every every single monster. Yeah, that th that this effect will last till the end of the turn, which means they'll keep on going. Yes, that's pretty much like your your uh, um, your 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 like final punch of the yes, game right there. Basically, as well, your closer. Now my revival would be Return of the Dragon Lords, obviously. Ooh. Yes. Now, he, obviously, for uh, not only reviving, but also protecting. Yes. And then for the, against the disruptors, we'll be called by the grave, because screw the disruptors. <laughs> yes, you gotta get that DPE out. Or whatever. Yes, exactly. Now, for my trap, for the main is the traps, would be Ultimate Creature of Destruction. Now, this card, I actually love this trap. It's been my favorite trap since it came out, would be that it protects every Blue Eyes monster I have. It pretty much protects it from, from card effects or battle. Also, the, the monster that it just battled is automatically destroyed. Yeah. But here's also another thing, is that it also counts as a second... It also count. This card counts also as like a six traps. Because if a blue-eyes white dragon was ever summoned back to the field, this card is set from the graveyard. Oh, okay. Well, that's actually pretty good. Yes. 
and so now, it's reusable. Yes, yeah, reusable. But it gets banished at the end of the, after okay. it's been used again. It's kind, of, it's, kind of, it's kind of like Solomon Great War, where it goes to the graveyard and gets called, or lost comes wind. back. Yeah, or lost wind. Yeah. Yeah. Like and finally, we have the we have a good card, True Light. True Unfortunately, light. it's like Eternal Soul. I see you burning the one. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I, it was recommended at one because one? yeah, because of the fact that it is a very. Uh, <sighs> It's a, it's a good card, but then it's a double-edged sword. Okay. Yeah, because it's like Eternal Soul, like a double-edged sword. Right. Because if it was ever destroyed, then all my cards get destroyed with it. Yeah. But that, but unfor but the only difference is that this thing is only uh, protecting my blue eyes white dragon from being targeted. What about the uh, the all the like other monsters that you showed me? The ones that uh, can't be destroyed by card effects. Does that affect it too? Actually, come to think of it, Jet Dragon actually can protect this card. Okay. Yeah, Jet Dragon will protect the card itself as well. So, which means that if I, is if Jet Dragon ever goes, then this thing will be vulnerable. Okay. But Jet Dragon will keep coming back because you have Blue Eyes White Dragon keep oh, coming. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Now, another thing is that this thing will summon out the Blue Eyes White Dragon, obviously. Yes. As well as you can easily set any Blue Eyes spell or trap face down from your deck. Okay. But you can only use one or the other effect per turn. Yeah, it's just uh, the same thing as uh, um, Eternal Soul. But Eternal Soul, the only difference yes. is that this thing is more versatile for every Blue Eyes card while is because it searches out more blue eyes spells and traps, while Dark Magician only searches out two cards. Yeah. And now for the extra deck. For the extra deck, we have Fusions, the alternative ultimate dragon. Obviously, he's for. Obviously, he can't be destroyed by battle. He can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects. And pretty much, if he's ever summoned out with alternative white dragon, he pops three cards on the field. Unfortunately, he can't attack till next turn, but it's worth it. Oh yeah, anything just about any if that amount of monster of uh, that kind of removal going second, yeah, that that, that is as well as if you use an ultimate fusion to summon it, you pretty much pop yeah. in more cards. Yes. Next would be the contact fusion twin burst dragon. Ooh. Now, like I said, he's he's a contact fusion. So send blue eyes from deck from hand field or grave to summon this sign. He can't be destroyed by battle. He can't be, and uh, he attack twice on monsters. And any monster that he is attacking is not destroyed. He banishes it instead. Ah. Next, we also have Tyrant Dragon. Dragon. Yes. Now this thing is way easy to summon out because you summon if you summon with Blue Eyes White Dragon or any other dragon. Yep. I see you. Yeah. You you played it against me. <laughs> <laughs> now he attacks all your opponent's monsters. He's unaffected by traps, and he sets any trap from your graveyard face down. Hmm. And now we also have three Neo Ultimate Dragon. The reason why I chose this is because the fact that if he's the only monster on the field, he attacks all your he attacks at least three times. But also because of the side effect, the second effect would be that if a blue eyes monster was ever targeted, I could pretty much negate that and just and pretty much all that fun stuff. Okay. So, I mean, it protects my blue eyes. Yeah, it protects your blue eyes, and you showed me in combat how, how it can uh, just keep on attacking and attacking yes. and be protected. That, that was actually pretty cool. Yes, it was. I did like that. Now, that's all the fusions. Which, uh, you actually won for game on that. <laughs> yes. Now, the lane monsters, the only chose two would be Dark and Lena. Dark and Lena. I was running Dark in my, in the dark in my fan nights, but it just never came up, so I swapped it out for... Uh, some uh, uh, for like IP or something like that. So. Yeah, so uh, there are sometimes so where I get pretty familiar with it. So sometimes I would actually use um, Dictator and Sage to summon one or the other. That way, not only can I pretty much bring out uh, my opponent's stuff if they have light or darks, but also if they were destroyed, obviously I can search out one or the other. You can actually bring back DPE with it. Yes. From your opponents. <laughs> yes. I can easily bring out any, kind, any monster if I like, wanted to. As for Synchros, we have Azur Eyes, Azur Eyes. Spirit Dragon, yep. obviously, Star Eater. Star <laughs> like I said, it's weird for me seeing that card because uh, <laughs> I recognize it. Um, Red Arch Fiend. Yeah, and finally, Sarah Spark. Sarah Spark. Now, the reason why uh, Spirit Dragon is self-explanatory, he, when he first came out during the Pendulum era, pretty much... Uh, 
he stops your he stops you from summoning out more than one monster during a special summon, obviously. Yeah. And it was a real pain because against you know Pepe. <laughs> and then of course there's also the fact that he negates monsters in the graveyard at times. Okay. And finally he can search out either one of these two if he wanted to. Now if he was ever summoned out, he pretty much is protecting himself from the side effect. Yeah. Because any monster that was summoned by his effect is automatically destroyed at the end of the turn. Oh, okay. I didn't think about that. Okay. Yes. And of course, obviously, he protects himself and he summons out a normal monster during each standby phase. Yep. Which uh, also was also cool. Uh, uh, you could bring out alternative dragon from the graveyard with him, too. No, you can't. Right? He's only normal monsters. Oh, only normal monsters. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, now, yeah, is this special Okay. Yeah. Normal monster. Yeah. Now, obviously, Star Eater. I usually have been synchronizing using Twin Burst Dragon with an with another level one tuner monster. Yes. Now, obviously, he is pretty much saying screw your stuff. <laughs> And finally, Star Spark Dragon. Obviously, he's a pretty good card, especially when he also like say, if you have this card, Jet Dragon, and and True Light on the field, pretty much he will protect your Jet Dragon. Jet Dragon, okay. Yeah, and he and Jet Dragon will protect him as well as the True Light itself. Mm. And now, finally, the Xyz Monsters is number forty-six. Number 46. Number 97. Oops. Yeah, number 97. Yeah, there, there it is. <laughs> okay. And number 100. Number 100. Yes. Now, 46 is mainly for materials, but it's still a fun idea to use. I was going to say, where's our Heart Earth or whoever th that card is? <laughs> you talking about Hope Harbinger? He's in my galaxy. No, not Hope Harbinger. Oh, that's another option. But he is in my galaxy eyes, actually. Um, no, there was another card I was thinking that went with, along with this one. It's Heart Earth Dragon. Yeah, 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 yeah. I actually thought about that, yeah, but he's in my artifact deck. Okay. <laughs> now, he's a fun idea. The, fun, the idea that I can pretty, if I get someone out, if I play against another dragon deck, I can easily take that dragon. Okay. Now, number 97, obviously self-explanatory since everyone's been using it. Pretty much, you summon, you summon him out. You can summon out him and use him as material and yes. gain the thousand attack for every rank on the field. Yeah, that's the one, because I see that happen in the Master Doll. I'm like, shoot, what is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so basically he's a pretty big boss Shinron. I'd be like, all right, well, Dark Roll no more. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can do that, but... <laughs> <laughs> like, that dude's got too many attack points. Well, not only that, you can also play like... Um, I guess, uh, what we going with like, Ben Chalice? Yeah, I, I was going to say for, for Ben, ben Chalice, Chalice, Destined Rivals. It could yes. actually pretty much negate that. Ben and droplets. Yes. Anybody could afford one. <laughs> now, the uh, side deck. I have uh, All right. some options. A little bonus the side in the side deck. deck. Yes. Sweet. Would be three Ash Blossom. Yes. Obviously, to disrupt the one Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End. Now, the reason why I actually wanted to get this out was because I have plenty of dark monsters along with lights. Yes. Like at least six uh, dark monsters at least. So he's pretty much uh, pretty much usable as well as I can pay, a, pay light points and send all cards from hand and field on both players' side of the field and graveyard and inflict 300 points of damage for every card that my opponent had to send to the graveyard. Mm. Now, with that in mind, he is sending himself to the graveyard, but in the end, it's still trying to board wipe and burn. Yes. Next, we also have Deep Eyes White Dragon. Now, with them... I'm going to bane deck in this against, my, against our battle. Yes. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, originally, this, guy, this bad boy here is that if a blue wise monster was ever destroyed, he is summoned out and inflicts 600 points of damage for every different dragon in the graveyard. Uh, actually, no, I forgot. We were having a match. Did you side deck him? Uh, I, uh, in, into I, our, uh, our second uh, match? During, no, I did not, actually. He was originally in the main deck. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't remember. Because I know we did a little side deck. In now, another fun fact is that he also gains attack points of any dragon that's in my graveyard. Yes. As well as if he was destroyed by card effect, well, my opponent's card effect, he also destroys every single card my opponent controls. Okay. Now, 
since I'll, now since of that, I also have the Pendulum Monster, Chaos Emperor, Dragon of Armageddon. I've seen this one, I'm just not familiar with it, that's all. Okay, so... I basically, really you first would, <laughs> so basically, you would first want to put him in your pendulum zone. Yeah. First and foremost, because you can easily destroy this card and you take any dragon that he had that was banished and return it back to your hand. And when you do that, you can also use the main monster effect to summon from your hand or face up on your extra deck by banishing a light or dark monster. Okay. And when you do that, you can also pay half your life points to pretty much nuke the field as well. And, and but the only the only catch is that unlike unlike Unvoid the End, he recycles himself back to the deck. Oh, okay. So that is the main plus. So like either I want to destroy every single card, or every single single card on the field at hand, or I can pretty much nuke the field in stealth. Right. Yes. So it was kind of like these two complement each other, but at the same time, it's kind of hard to, to decide between the two. Yeah, if it, yeah, it just depends on probably what kind of deck you're facing. Exactly. That's why. So I, that's that's why I tried to decide one over the other. Yeah, I get that. It's like you know trying to figure out like whatever deck you're facing against. Yes. Now next up we have Draw and Log Bird, obviously. Yes. For anyone that keeps on like just a. FYI, Phantom Knights hate drawing Lockbird. Okay, next time I'll get that. Because <laughs> we, we actually search uh, Fogblade or whichever. Because, uh, yeah, we search. I'll we, keep that in mind then. With Clue, we search with. Um, there's other cards that we search with. So uh, Yeah, I'll keep that in mind then. <laughs> next up would also be Nibiru. Oh, and another deck that hates uh, drawing my bird I, I, when I was playing a tournament was Sky Strikers. Oh, that's a good one. That's so, a good yeah, one. If you play against Sky Strikers, uh, do uh, deck uh, draw my bird. Yeah, I would also use Nibiru for like uh, those combo extending, like Burning Abyss that you did earlier. Yep. But also, uh, some other decks that I've actually noticed would also do combo extending would be uh, Sword Souls. Yeah, pretty much every deck these days does. But... And as well as the Branded, <laughs> which I... Quick note, I hate the Branded Dark Timer already. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually took on a Branded, uh, the first tournament I played here a couple of weeks back. Uh, now, obviously, the third one, the third Ancients, just in case. Yep, just in case if you feel if you need the third. Yeah. And finally, I'm not sure, I'm actually debating if I should actually take this out now because of the Bag Bailey. It's still, it's still actually, uh, uh, to me, it's uh, it mine's in my side deck, and I know people I've seen do, uh, Impermanence is still a main deck card yeah. because of like um call by the grave they can't that it, is true because that is they, true you know they can call by grave affect valor or ash blossom impermanence can't plus you could put a face uh, uh face and plus if it's your turn uh um well during your opponent's turn where you have no traps on the in your graveyard already yeah so uh, something like that i believe target uh i know if you say if it's if it's your first turn you can just set it and then activate it during your opponent's turn yeah and then they can't use that column exactly Exactly. Which, if you're playing Master Doll, they always end up always playing that column that they just Im got Im just imperm. Like say, uh, if you're <laughs> imperming uh, the one that's, that has a Link Monster in it. Yeah, yeah. Then, yep, you can do, uh, do that too as well. So, uh, and, and to me, impermanence is still worth it. Yeah, it is worth it's it. It's also I'm, nice to have it for the side too. Yeah. So that is the um, part. that is pretty much the whole deck then. All right. I appreciate that. Th uh, thank you. Uh, Appreciate it. Thank you, uh, Michael, and uh, can't wait to do more duels with you. Everybody, this is TCMG Mike. I'll be doing more deck pros. I'll see you later.